Hello and welcome to Phase Today Tutorials. This is tutorial four on Monte Carlo analysis of the Phase Today systems. Very interesting topic, and I hope this will be of great use for you if you are involved into any kind of Phase Today system design. Now, before we start, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon to enable all the notifications, and after you watch the video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about this interesting topic. Now for demonstration of this capability, I do have the same phase today system design, which we have been talking in the past few tutorials. Now in this case, I have decided not to use the S parameters for the phase shifter as well as attenuator, but this is no restriction. If you want, you can also do the same exercise while using the S parameters for these components. Now, as you can imagine, Monte Carlo is one of the techniques uh, which runs a statistical analysis to take care of component parameter variations onto either your circuit design or system level design. So in a sense, you could uh, go ahead and you know, make variables for your gain, P1 dB, noise figure, and so on and so forth, and run Monte Carlo analysis to take care of the variation into your system level performance or circuit level, depending upon whatever analysis you are doing. In this video, I'm going to show you something quite different, and that is when we would like to talk about uh, element failure analysis. So in the current condition, with all the parameters set, I do have a nominal performance out of my phased array system, which is currently 16 cross 16. So that means overall 256 components. Now, if I would like to study what if certain percentage of my uh, system you know, fails, what impact will it have on my system performance? How is the main lobe going to vary? How is the side lobe going to vary? And so on and so forth. Now, to perform this kind of analysis, um, we can double click on the antenna component. And under settings, uh, you will see an option called element failure, which is by default set to none. That means all elements are working properly. Now, in order to introduce the failure, we can either introduce a probability or you can define a custom failure to specific components, which could be random in nature. And this is the technique I'm going to illustrate in this video. Now, first of all, uh, when we define it as a custom failure, we need to define a string or a variable which we would like to assign in order to excite uh, the radiators. So in this case, I would simply create or use a function called once 256, which is my number of elements, because remember, we are working on 16 cross 16, comma, one. So that will mean all 256 elements will have excitation of one. That means they are active. And once we define it to be zero, that means there will be no excitation and that particular array radiator will not radiate or you can say it's failed. All right, with this simple description, we click OK. And now we just run the simulation to make sure the syntax we have provided is working. As you can see in this case, everything is as expected. It's all working. Now for Monte Carlo analysis, we can right click under the design folder here add evaluation and a Monte Carlo evaluation. Now the analysis which I would like to run with Monte Carlo is obviously the phase today, which is the nominal analysis which you can see in the workspace tree here. So with every iteration of Monte Carlo, this will be the analysis which will be run for various operating condition, which we will now define. A number of samples for this video, I'm going to restrict it to 20, but in your case, you can learn, uh, run as many number of samples or iterations you want. Now with this basic setup, we go to measurement and here we will describe the list of measurement, which we would like to do when we run the Monte Carlo simulation. So I will come to this uh, in a bit. Before that, let's go to variable. And now I need to select a variable which we would like to assign certain tolerance or a discrete set of values which will be varied during Monte Carlo analysis. So in a normal parameter, let's say if you have a gain and if that gain is likely to vary by plus minus 5%, 
we can use a distribution, uh, whether it is uh, Gaussian or uniform, beta, log normal, etc. And you can define the percentage of variation. In our case, it's slightly different. And let's talk about that. So first we go to add variable, uh, select variables. And now you have all the parameters in your design, which you can pick from. Now here, if you select this custom failure, which you know, remember we assigned a value to as once function, I will select that to be added into the list. Now this once um, matrix, I would like to define it as a discrete list of values. And in that discrete list of value, you can define it as zero or one. But now remember, we need to assign certain random, uh, you know, kind of probability of zero and one. I can go and define list of value as an array with a capital braces, zero space one. So these are the two conditions in which the values will uh, fluctuate. And list of probability again will be an array with a capital braces, 10 and 90. It's in the same order uh, what you want this condition or this value to be picked up. So in my case, 10% uh, of the time, the value will be zero. 90% of the time, the values will be one. So it's 10% probability, as simple as that. Now, once we are done, uh, we can go and assign the list of measurements which we would like to add during Monte Carlo. So for that, the easiest place is to look under the data set which you have produced during the nominal analysis. And if I open up that data set here, under B measurements, you can note all the measurements which you can go ahead and use, or you can use some of these array measurements. So in my case, I'm mainly interested in uh, measuring FICA directivity when I run Monte Carlo so that I can see the impact on the 2D cut pattern while we run Monte Carlo. Also, we can look at uh, you know main lobe EIRP, main lobe directivity, and so on and so forth. So whatever measurements you would like to capture during Monte Carlo, you can note from here. So now while this window is on so that you don't need to remember, I double click on Monte Carlo analysis, go to measurement, and from here, I can simply define a beam a measurement, which is basically prefixed to all the measurement quantities we have here, underscore phi cut directivity. Now, when you are doing this measurement, remember this measurement is part of this particular data set, which is PHRA underscore data in my case. Similarly, you may have your own name here. So for the default context data set, I can change uh, instead of S parameter, I will use phased array data. Similarly, we are going to go and add few more, um, you know, measurements here. All right, so now we have all the three measurements defined as we needed. Now uh, we can click OK. All the steps are completed. I mean, just to quickly revise, we selected uh, the analysis which will be performed uh, during Monte Carlo. We define the list of measurements which we would like to perform during Monte Carlo simulations, and you can add as many as you want. We selected the right data set from where the measurements will be picked up. And finally, we assigned a variable and defined the property uh, which will be varied during the Monte Carlo analysis. As simple as that. And you can add more parameters or more values if you need. Now, once we are done, uh, we can go ahead and run this Monte Carlo. Now, before we do that, let's come back to this view. And now to run Monte Carlo, I can simply right click and run. And now there will be 20 iterations run, as you can see in the status window. And after every iteration run, you can see the data changing. And finally, once everything is completed, you will have this data set, which now you see in the workspace tree fully populated. Monte Carlo 
under one underscore data. So right now we are on 12th round. It will take few more seconds to finish all 20th round uh, to come up with the entire data. And then we would be able to visualize all the measurements which we have decided uh, to add during the Monte Carlo. Now all 20 simulations are done. The entire data set is available now for us. Now let's double click and look at the beam measurements. So there are three measurements available for us to look at. Uh, in terms of main lobe uh, directivity, you can check the results and you can see it's kind of pretty consistent. So directivity is not changing with 10% of elements failing. Uh, similarly, the main lobe EIRP is also pretty consistent. It's not varying by a great deal. However, if we look at the FICA directivity and if we decide to plot it by right clicking add to graph and create a new graph, and now let's arrange this graph first to y axis instead of a complete you know, resolution. Let's plot the data from minus 30 to plus 30 dB and x axis. Uh, let's plot it from minus 50 to plus 50 degrees or whatever uh, you, you wish to do um, depending on the plot. Now here you can very clearly see the impact of element failures on you know, the null location as well as the side lobe levels in your pattern. So this kind of gives you a pretty good idea that even if you have 10% element failing, whether your radar or the phased array system, which you might be designing, can still do the you know, uh, required job for your application. Now under this condition, you can also decide to sweep uh, the theta or phi and steer the beam in different directions and look at how much error in terms of uh, uh, pointing error or the side load level you may have when you have the failing conditions or varying conditions in your system performance. So hopefully this gives you some idea how you can utilize this Monte Carlo statistical simulation into your own phased array system design. That's all for this particular video. I hope it was interesting and educative for you and you would be able to make a good use of it. Thanks for your time and keep learning my friends.